Welcome to Michael's Beer Review. Tonight, I'm reviewing Samuel Smith, what did it say, Pure Organic Lager Beer. Um, very high ratings on rate beer and um, beer advocate. Been sipping on it. I always like to taste it a little before I rate it. <clears throat> Just a little longer. Looks like a light lager. Yeah, I got some spiciness. Some maltiness, Ooh. lemony. Looking forward to drinking this. First time drinking it. Samuel Smith Organic Lager. Oh, what it? What's it under? Um, I don't know what's under, but uh, organic lager. Just taste it out. Yeah, it's, it's excellent. I can taste spicy, um, malty, tastes like a Hales lager, a Munich lager. I like them a lot. <clears throat> um, has that hop characteristic of um, kind of a hoppy characteristic of a, of a Heineken or a Stella, like flowery earthy bouquet hop. That's beautiful beer. Very drinkable. <coughs> Very drinkable. Drink quite a few. Deck. This is going down in a minute. So the hype was there. They put a rated it on uh, Beer Advocate like a 90 something high rating because Beer Advocate really don't, really don't rate loggers high. I give it a 98. World class. Top notch. Samuel Smith has some great beers. They have a great porter. They have a great, I think it's a oatmeal stout. All of them are rated high, A+. Plus. And this is no exception to the rule. Let me look at it. I think it's been around since the 1800s. Samuel Smith, Lancaster, England. Used only organic malt, malted barley. Organic hops, medium soft water, bottom firmin, firmin yeast, matured at low temperatures. Code maturation allows bottom firmization. Yeah, I can take yeasty. I can see some of that yeast and lemon zest. There you go. Smooth as a bottom. Um, yeah, 98, A plus. Um, it's up there with the best of the best. Not cheap. Probably 40 or eight, nine bucks. So it's worth it. This is the beer that would uh, definitely beat out. It's worth the money. It would beat out PBR and it beats out oh, High Life. It's worth the money to buy. Instead of buying High Life, buy this if you want a treat. But yeah, it's I think a 5% alcohol. But there's produced in the UK. Old Brewery, 1852, Sammy Smith. Yeah, I think I had 40 beers, or 40 beers were world class. I think they're Porter, they're Stout, and there's not three of them. So this is up there with the best of the lagers of any time. American Agent Lager, uh, American Pale Lager, German Pilsners, uh, uh, Czech Pilsners. This is up there with it. It's so smooth, so Spicy, hoppy, has that malt, has that caramel, but it's not over doing it. A lot of beer companies, especially United States, micro brews or breweries, beers, they always put the malts like really strong. This over kind of undertone, which is great. I like it like that. Some are just too much in your face. Sometimes a subtle beer is perfection because this is subtle. It's not in your face. You can drink three days and have no problem drinking them again great 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 summer beer in a hot 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 summer sun so again a plus if you have samuel smith organic lager you should try it you like it if you're a lager fan if you're an ale fan you ain't gonna like it you can say it's too watery <sighs> 
just great. Comments, questions, subscribe, and again, thanks for watching. Bye.